Game six is on Monday. Tampa and Dallas. Yesterday was a great game five, double overtime game. We're gonna go over that game today and also the entire series so far and also some news of the week. Just for some context, I predicted Dallas in, ga in six games to win this Stanley Cup. That's obviously not the case at this point as Tampa leads the series three to two. Tomorrow, game six. It's exciting, guys. Very, very exciting, that's for sure. We're gonna break it all down for you guys. It's gonna be a shorter recap because we don't we only have one series to go over. So don't expect this recap to be very long at all. Before we do get started here with our recap, let's go over some news of the week. Starting with the NHL Awards. The final five NHL Awards. The Norris, the Ted Lindsay, the Hart Trophy, Calder Trophy, and Vesna Trophy winners were announced this week. The Norris Trophy went to Roman Yossi, Ted Lindsay, and the Hart Trophy went to Leon Dreisaitl. Calder went to Kale McCarr. I'm a little sad that it wasn't Quinn Hughes. But again, I think the right winner did win the Calder, so no problem there. And the Vesna went to Connor Hellebuck. Let's go over the Florida and Pittsburgh trade. We have, in a trade Thursday, Pittsburgh Penguins traded veteran Patrick Hornquist, who had 32 points in 52 games played last year, for Mike Matheson and Colton Sevier from Florida. The salaries, Hornquist, 5.3 million for three more years, Matheson, 4.6 million, six more years, and Colton Sevier, 1.2 million for one more year. I think this was a very interesting trade. I think uh, Jim Rutherford, I think, did a pretty good job with this trade, and it was much better than the other trade they did earlier in the... A few weeks ago, Jim Rutherford did make a rather terrible trade with the Kisperi Kapanen trade, I believe. All right, let's get into the recap here. Tampa and Dallas. Game six is tomorrow. Series is three to two for Tampa. Let's go over everything. Power play for Tampa, 22.2%. Dallas, 23.2%. You look and see Dallas having the better power play throughout the playoffs, but Tampa Bay, last week they were at 16.9. Dallas last week was at 26.5. Tampa Bay went up by more than 5%. They've been very good on the power play. I believe there's something like 6 for 16 on the power play. That's amazing. And penalty kill for Tampa, 85.5%. Dallas, 80%. Top 3 point getters for Tampa. Nikita Kucherov, 33 points. 26 assists for Kucherov. What a playmaker. Braden Point, 32 points. 13 goals. Victor Hedman, 10 goals, 21 assists. Just two behind Paul Coffey for the lead for defensemen in scoring in the playoffs. Top three point getters for Dallas. Miro Haskinen, 20 assists and 26 points. John Klingberg, 21 points. And Joe Pavelski with 13 goals, 19 points. Goaltenders. Andre Vasilevsky for Tampa, 17 and 7. 1.97, 9.25 save percentage, playing every single minute for Tampa throughout these playoffs. What a goaltender. He's been very good. For Dallas, they've seen three goaltenders in action, and, but mostly Anton Hudobin with a 14-9 and nine record, 2.72 goals in the average, 9.17 save percentage. You look at the numbers, and you think he's not that good, but he's definitely not to blame for Dallas's losses. In this round. Alright, so game one. That was last week. In last week's recap, we looked at that. It was 4-1 for Dallas. Hanley with his first playoff goal. A tying goal for Tampa. A lucky bounce off. Ruby hints his skates. Dallas with a late goal by Kevin Ronta in the second in the second period with 27.4 seconds left. Patrick Maroon with a 10-minute misconduct for firing the puck in the Dallas bench. Shots 22 for 2, 
22 to 2 for Tampa in the third. That, that's some kind of momentum, and it definitely worked. Game 2, 3 to 2 for Tampa. Stampos, Bogosian, and Shen were out for Tampa. Tampa's 4 2 goal was called back for offside. Dallas came back from 3 nothing down, but couldn't catch up. Tampa, with two power play goals, physicality, and small injuries galore. What a physical game throughout this series. Teams getting over 50 hits in almost every game. In game 3, 5 to 2 for Tampa. Stamkos was back in the lineup and gets a goal, but only played 247 ice time before getting benched for the rest of the series. And then Todd Hudobin was pulled after allowing 5 goals and 29 shots. Not really his fault, but that was probably his worst game in the series. But yeah, not really his fault. Game 4, 5 to 4 for Tampa in overtime. Dallas with two goals in the first three shots in 18-28 in the first period. Points for 59 seconds after Dallas led 2-0. Rupe Hintz got injured. The third Dallas goal was jammed in by Corey Perry. Three goals and seven shots on Vasilevsky to start. But then he really locked it down. Shad Kirk with an overtime winner on the power play. First overtime loss for Dallas in the playoffs. And that's... Up to this point, we saw three series clinching overtime winners so far for Tampa. Would that be the case in Game 5? Let's take a look. So in Game 5, I looked, I put a lot of notes on Game 5 here. It was 3-2 Dallas for double overtime. Rupe Hintz was out along with Radic Faxa, Blake Como, and Stephen Johns, Ben Bishop. But Rupi Hintz is the new injury year. Andre Sekera was also injured, but luckily returned later in the game. Joe Pavesky ties the game with 6.45 left in the third. After they were trailing the third period 2-1, it looks like, looked like that was going to be it. Let's go over what happened in the overtimes. In the first overtime, there was this controversial ice and call that hit Vasilevsky's pad. But luckily, it didn't cost the game that cost if that cost Dallas the Stanley Cup that would have been very controversial and extremely maddening luckily that, that was not the case first Dallas shot in overtime was at 1753 in the first overtime shots were 72 of Tampa in that first overtime the second overtime Dallas early shoot early shots Perry with the overtime winner at 923 in the second overtime Corey Perry, after a 19-game scoring drought, has three goals in his last two games, and they're very clutch goals. And that's why Corey Perry's one of the... Definitely a, a legend in the NHL. He may be a little underrated, and a lot of people might hate him for his dirty plays, so to speak. I, mean, I know he takes a lot of penalties. It's very physical and a little bit aggravating to watch at times. But he is a great addition to this Dallas lineup. He was, he was good in Anaheim, but now you see how good he is in Dallas, even in the, this late stage of his career. Alright, Game 6 is on Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific Time. That is tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be great. Great hockey. Stanley Cup in the building again. Dallas will get to wear green. Tampa will, will, will wear their white shirts. We'll see what happens in Game number 6. It's been a very physical series. And very fun one. Tampa, I think, is still the better team in most aspects of this game. And Dallas has just shown their grit and their unwillingness to quit. Oh, that rhymed. That was a nice rhyme. Well, Dallas, come back kids, am I right? They're still very much in this. And we'll see what happens in Game 6. They need another very good start. Scoring first, very important. Whoever scored first, not necessarily the winner, as we saw in game number four, but when you score first, good things happen, as we've seen in four of the five games. We'll see what happens. All right. All right, so the injuries. Tampa Bay, Steven Stamkos is going to be out for the rest of the playoffs. Dallas, Ben Bishop, Radic Foxa, Rupe Hintz, and Blake Como are injured as of... Recording this video. I'm not sure when they'll be back tomorrow, but we will see won't we? Dallas hung in there in game five oh, Even with all these injuries and they continue to have little injuries with Jason Dickinson 
some other guys as well. And Andre Sekiro got injured in game 5. He hung in there and returned to the game. These guys are troopers and we gotta respect that. Alright, so we're gonna see you next week on October the 4th to wrap up the Stanley Cup playoffs. The playoffs won't go past September 30th, but we're gonna keep it on a Sunday. So, it's going to be a couple of days after the Stanley Cup playoffs are over before I recap. It's going to be at least another Game 6 to go over and maybe potentially Game 7. So, we'll see what happens there. We'll see you next week. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for some Super Mario 3D All-Stars coming Monday to Friday coming starting tomorrow. So... Stay tuned for that as well. I'm not I'm sure that's not hockey related, but it's my channel related. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up here today. Hockey is getting more exciting than ever, and I'm glad I'm here for it. So again, thanks for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. And as always, it is time for us to go. See you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And your weekend. And take care, everyone. And the Stanley Cup will be handed out. Get excited, everyone. We'll see you soon.